ラッシュの早さ比べかSo as for today's video, we have another review of the Adrenaline Drivers, this time with a 22.2.1, as I say in all my videos. 22 is the year, 2 is the month, February, and 1 is the revision in that same month, the first revision of February. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> and well, as usual, let's read the release notes. So as for the release notes we have support for Dying Light 2 that just released, Lost Ark and Vulcan 1.3 and Vulcan Roadmap 2022. Click here for more information. Basically we have lots of new things in Vulcan, I will actually click. And we have for example uh, VK KHR Maintenance 4, VK Extension, extension Global Priority Query, uh, Vulcan extension deep clip control and Vulcan extension provoking vertex. So we have new things for Vulcan, uh, mostly for creators, okay, and things that Vulcan now supports. So we have support for Dying Light 2 and Lost Ark, but we have no performance gains announced. We may have some, we may have not. Uh, but well, it is what it is. As for the fixed issues, we also have just one fixed issue, which is on some AMD graphics products, such as the RX 6700 XT graphics, some users may observe flashing colored lights around their character when playing Fortnite using the X12. Okay, so basically, if you are using Fortnite and the X12, you may have some color glitches with the 6700 XT. Yeah. And as for the known issues we have, while playing Cyberpunk 2077 on some AMD graphics products, such as the RX 570 graphics, some users may observe an issue when indoor areas appear darker than expected. So this is not just a thing in the 570, at least if we account for example the 21.12.1 drivers. This problem of darker indoors things also appear for example, also appears sorry for example with the Vega 56. Okay, uh, that was a problem and it still seems that it seems that it still is a problem at least with the 570. I don't know how about the Vega 56 but the 570 still has this problem, okay? Stuttering or lower than expected FPS values may be experienced by some users while playing God of War on some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics. So, this is a thing that some people have been complained, even those that don't have AMD graphics cards, they just love to complain about AMD cards. AMD fanboys love to complain about AMD cards and the non-fanboys love to complain about AMD cards as well. Everyone loves to complain about AMD cards even if they don't know what they're talking about. It is what it is, but this is a problem that is here but isn't happening to everyone. And I repeat, isn't happening to everyone and after some patches from God of War, uh, on Steam at least, everything is working fine in most scenarios. In 99% of times I tested with the 5700 XT, I tested with the 6800 and I even tested with the RTX 3060. So I can tell you that even on the AMD cards, everything is almost perfectly 99% of times. There is like one or two areas at max uh, while the performance tanks a bit, but I mean they are areas with lots of things, lots of things on the monitor, lots of graphics to process, so it is normal that the FPS drops a bit. Not that it tanks, but it is normal that it drops a bit. But I mean, it is still a bug, but it is not in all cards, and it is not in all scenarios, just in some. Really, really, really just a few, okay? Then we have the Enhanced Sync meme that is a meme. It is just a meme, I mean. This is just an example, so Enhanced Sync is still here on the known issues and it doesn't mean that it is happening to everyone, it just means that it is, it is happening to some 
users, okay? Maybe if it is just one, two or three users, it is happening. And the same applies to the God of War thing that isn't happening for all users, but to some it is, okay? And the last known issue is Raiden performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock value. So this is an error that it is still occurring, okay? It is still here. Uh, I don't know why it, it hasn't been fixed for like five or six or maybe seven driver versions and I don't know why. I sincerely don't, I sincerely don't, <laughs> I sincerely don't know why it hasn't been fixed. It is, it is time to do it. Just AMD, just do it. It's your own performance metric. So just fix this crap, okay? Apart from this, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, as for my experience with this driver, sincerely, comparing to the 22, if like comparing to the 21.12.1, 22.1.1 and 22.1.2, I think these ones are the best so far. Okay, I think these ones are the best so far. Performance is more or less on par on all cards, okay? But for example, bugs like like for example the Radeon software closing, just randomly closing. It happened a lot with, for example, with the 580 and the 5700 XT. It happened quite sometimes, for example, with the 21.12.1 and also the 22.1.1 and 22.1.2. And with the 22.2.1, these drivers, the current drivers, that doesn't happen as much, or at least since I installed the drivers both on the 5700 XT and the 580, I didn't have any problems. The, at least the software kit didn't randomly close. So that's a plus, I think. So uh, way better than the previous drivers on that aspect. And the only actual bug that I found with these drivers is the fact that we have that annoying uh, low dim monitor uh, when waking from sleep or when you turn off your monitor. Once you turn off your monitor, leave your computer for a while, turn on your monitor again and you'll have the low dimmed uh, display, all you have to do is press Ctrl, Shift, Windows and B key, it will restart the drivers uh, and well, your monitor is completely normal again, but that's a bug, it shouldn't happen and it happens with the 580, not with the 5700 XT, but with the 580 it, it does happen even with this driver. As for VRAM frequency, yes, VRAM frequency on my main monitor of 160Hz, it's still happening, the VRAM frequency is at max. Although in this monitor and that monitor that I have both 75 Hz, one 1440p ultra wide and this one 1080p ultra wide, both are fixed. So the VRAM frequency on these two monitors on the 5700 XT is low. Yeah, it depends on the monitor, just not on the card, but also on the monitor, okay? It is what it is. And yeah, guys, basically that's it. Do I recommend these drivers or not? So if you want to play the the most recent games go for it i didn't test everything obviously but from what i tested so far they are working pretty fine and even better than the previous ones at least in terms of stability maybe not in terms of performance because the performance is equal they are equal not better but in terms of stability they are definitely better than the previous ones okay as always leave your comment in the comment section let me know what you think about these drivers because i mean that's why I make these videos, I always tell you that. That's why I make these videos for me and for us to know it as a community what problems are happening with these drivers or not, okay? And to help each other, so that's basically why I do it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. And as always, you have the side-by-side -side comparisons now with the 580 and the 5700 XT. See you in the next one, guys.
this is going to be weirder than usual. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Let's <laughs> go.